The key to scoring is the, into the red zone is to create horizontal spacing in your passing patterns. Another key to scoring in the red zone is the ability to have quick passes. We get both of those out of this play from the Eagle H, uh, or excuse me, the Empty Saint. The play is uh, the deep end. This is a popular play, and we like to flip this play when we come out in it. We could leave it to, the, actually, we'll just run it to the right. It's not really that big of a deal either way, but uh, this is a nice formation here. And uh, we can get to it from our base play, and we can also get to it through our motion. Uh, so I'm going to show it to you as if I was just running a ba basic offense with this playbook. So here you'll see I do my standard motion Stokely over, and now I want to. Now I know I'm in the red zone, so I want to score in the red zone. So I'm going to go to my empty Saint, and you'll see here Saints deep in. Now here is the setups. I want to bring Tory Smith in first and foremost. Then I want to take Ray Rice. I want to put him on a zig pattern. I want to take Brandon Stokely. I want to put him on a hitch route, and I want to put Tory Smith on a hitch route. I'm then going to proceed to motion Tory Smith out to the right and snap it just before he sets. This is my first read, and I'm gonna if they are in man-to-man -man coverage, I'm gonna torch them uh, with that deep end. In situations where the defense may be blitzing you, uh, something like this, a cover zero blitz, and you you don't know what to do. Well, because the hit trap does take just a second to develop. Another thing that you can do uh, from this formation is the ability to place. Uh, that the route to Pitta is, I think, one of the most underrated routes in the game. It's a flat route, but it's a delayed flat route that kind of sits for a second and then drops out. And you'll see um, this route. Oh, I don't know why it didn't. Re it didn't release to the flat there, unfortunately. Normally, it releases to the flat, but if they're blitzing you, it will pick up the pressure in order to give you time to deliver whatever route you want to take, whatever route you want to get against basic coverages like two man under. And cover to sink, it's going to simply release to the flat. And you'll see in this example uh, what happens when it releases to the flat against man to man defense. Typically, for the most part, what you'll see happening when it releases to the flat like that is his man will sometimes blitz, and you can easily throw that. That's another route that is also in, it helps serve the. Uh, hitch route that we motion it helps allow you to throw that hitch route consistently against cover two cover three and cover four the next read that we want to progress and show you is situations where they may be running a cover two defense if they run a cover two defense against this play this route to Brandon Stokely is going to do a good job at sitting and it's a nice little snap throw that you can hit typically that route is a very effective route every every year uh, from the deep end but uh, in this situation, we like to hot route it to a hitch route. The final progress, actually the second to last progression here, is this route to Ray Rice. The zig route snap thrown against um, you know basic zones. You'll see that against a basic cover three, this hitch route, hitch route snap throw is a lovely little quick pass that you could take advantage of. It also helps us in situations where we want to try to hit this back of the end zone route to Jacoby Jones. The reason it helps us is that it works as kind of like a suck down route against cover three and cover four and cover two. Again, zone, this is going to suck down the defense. It's going to basically tell the defense that, hey, we need to watch out for that zig. What you'll see is this post in the back of the end zone will sit back there, and sometimes you can fit it in. That time, the defense did a good job at uh, kind of getting in our way, but uh, hopefully you see the idea that we're trying to get with this package. It's an idea we get a couple of different snap throws combined with flat routes and better spacing on the field uh, to really not have a nice little red zone offense here. One other thing that I want to suggest to you today is by is, is potentially putting Stoke or Pitta on a fade, Stokely on that same hitch route, and do everything the same. Just instead of putting Pitta on a flat route, put him on a, uh, a fade. Motion out Smith. You'll see that this fade route, when you pass it to the right, does a nice job. Sometimes at beating man, and you could do this to Ray Rice. Maybe if you don't like the zig route, you know, maybe you say, "Okay, I don't like the zig, and I'm going to do something different." Well, maybe you do this. Maybe you put Rice on a fade, and then you take uh, Jones here and put him on a fade. And if you know, maybe they're in zone, you could throw it to Jones, and if they're in man, you could throw it to Rice. And here you'll see Rice is route. He'll just sit in a nice little void uh, against several defenses, especially uh, cover two and cover two men under. Uh, and then in situations where the defense is is potentially in a cover three, 
then maybe this route to uh, maybe this route to uh, maybe this route to Jacoby Jones becomes that much more better. You can pat. What you want to do is you want to pass lead it uh, down into the inside against the cover three zone, and you see you can sometimes get that animation. So that is a couple of different options in the red zone for the New Orleans offense. Guys, this is our scheme of the week, and I hope you enjoyed the breakdown this week. I hope it gave you some useful plays that you can use, and uh, be sure to watch the gameplay to see how I use them all uh, in conjunction. But uh, this is a really nice offensive playbook, and I think it's going to be even better in Madden 15. So be on the lookout for the Saints book uh, for next year, but also do enjoy uh, this little five set for success scheme that I put together for you this season. And uh, we'll be back next week with another scheme of the week.